Good morning children welcome to your english class so today in our english class we are going to start with a new chapter that is lesson 2 the baboon's umbrella this chapter is in semester 2 book page number 80 so children the baboon's umbrella is a story and this story is written by arnold lobel children first let's look at the difficult words that are used in the story first word is baboon how will you pronounce it baboon a large monkey with a long snout snout means it has a long nose jaw and mouth okay can you see in the picture so that is a baboon second word is gibbon a small ape that has long arms and legs so children this gibbon has no tail and it is larger than a monkey third one is disagreeable which means unpleasant or which is not pleasing in manner fourth one is stuck unable to move fifth one is delightful very pleasant sixth one is poor to rain heavily and the last seventh one is soaked very wet now let's read and understand the story baboon was taking his daily walk in the jungle he met his friend gibbon on the path my good friend said gibbon how strange to find you holding an open umbrella over your head on such a sun shiny day as this so children two animal characters are there that is baboon and gibbon who was taking the daily walk in the jungle that was baboon so baboon met his friend gibbon can you see in this picture what baboon was holding in his hand he was holding an umbrella gibbon is seeing this and he said how strange to find you holding an open umbrella over your head on such a sun shiny day so gibbon wanted to say that it was a pleasant day the sun was shining brightly so you should enjoy the sun and why are you carrying this umbrella now baboon is replying yes said baboon i am most annoyed i cannot close this umbrella it is stuck i will not think of walking without my umbrella in case it should rain but as you see i am not able to enjoy the sunshine underneath this dark shadow it is a sad thing children here annoyed means troubled or irritated by something why was baboon irritated or annoyed hmm he was not able to close his umbrella because it was stuck he was unable to move the umbrella so this was a problem with baboon that he was unable to close his umbrella and he is also saying that he can't think of walking without his umbrella because he was worried what if it starts raining so children how does an umbrella protect us yes it protect us against the rain or scorching sun so that is why baboon was carrying an umbrella so the problem with baboon was that he was not able to enjoy the sunshine underneath this dark shadow to this problem gibbon is giving a solution there is simple solution said gibbon you need only to cut some holes in your umbrella then the sun will shine on you what an idea did you like the idea that Gib- gibbon gave to baboon yes or no tell your parents quickly baboon is saying what a good idea cried baboon i do thank you so children here baboon is very happy with the 
idea that Gibbon has given to him. And Baboon is even saying, I should thank you for this idea. So Baboon ran home with his scissor. He cut large holes in the top of his umbrella. When Baboon returned to his walk, the warm sunshine came down through the holes. So children, Baboon didn't think about anything. He went home and with his scissor, he has cut large holes in the top of his umbrella. Now, how is Baboon feeling? How delightful, said Baboon. Delightful means he was feeling so much satisfied. He was enjoying now. What was he enjoying? He was enjoying the warm sunshine. However, soon the sun disappeared behind some clouds. There were a few drops of rain. Then it began to pour. The rain fell through all the holes in the umbrella. In just a short time, the unhappy baboon was soaked to the skin. So children, what happened at the end of the story? First, the sun disappeared behind some clouds. Then there was few drops of rain. Then it started pouring down. Pouring down means or to pour means it started raining heavily. And what happened to a poor baboon? He was soaked to the skin. He was very wet. All these things happened just because he took the advice from his friend Gibbon. So this was a good or a bad advice? Yes, definitely this was a bad idea. It was a bad solution. Children, now you will read this story in front of your parents loudly, clearly and all the words should be pronounced properly.